Uh, yeah, let's go to Gian Gomesh if we can. Last week, the Gomesh was here for, uh, yeah, I guess, you had photos from your trip to Los Angeles, which is very nice. Uh, you actually the Gomesh. The Gomesh, yeah. Gene Gomeshine. <laughs> Thank you. Trying to angle size. Hey, buddy. two things before we start. Yes. Okay. First of all, I know Hi, you're. How are you, by the way? Nice to see nice you. Nice to see you, too, yeah. I know you're too modest to say anything. What? Don't, don't bring it up. Congratulations on winning the host Gemini last night. All right, that's no. Thank you. No one works harder than you. That's not true. I don't know anyone who works harder than you, and you deserve it. My mother. Se and your mother should win a job. <laughs> that, that's true. Second thing, yes. great interview with Beck yesterday. Tough guy to interview. Yeah, he's a hard Notoriously, isn't he? yeah, yeah. And I thought you brought something out of him. What's, what and he's got a great new record. Something happening behind me? What's this? this you're very kind. Thank you. Yeah. You're very sweet. Uh, okay, so really how much yourself? time do I have? Well, I don't know. How, many, how much time does he have? Oh, geez, we got too much time left. Too much, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, three, minutes. Minutes. three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Wait, come on, Don I mean, Cherry, so, what do you got? Okay. All right, so, all right, well, I, you like, I like to take photos with my phone camera. That's right. So we start off, we got, we got this here, we've got the, uh, the, first, picture. Uh, the first picture. It's uh, yeah. sort of a collage of the hour. I see No, that. there it is, okay. Uh, this is uh, at the Four Seasons Center. Uh, the new opera house in Toronto. Oh, this was last Friday that's night. That's just down the road from Much Music, where that is right it's now. It's called yeah. some. This, is, this was called Opera Nation, and it was okay. a big fundraiser for the Canadian Opera Company. And swanky people, young people who had money, came out, and it was a great event to support the Canadian Opera Company. They asked me to provide something for a silent auction. Swanky young person with money. I, listen, yeah. no, they asked me to provide something for a, a silent auction. So I thought I'd look around my house. One problem: my home is a little bit of a New Orleans thing going on right now. Dude, I'm. I'm I, I, I was sort of insensitive, I, but, I, but I, I'm in the but I'm in the middle of okay. renovating. I've got some stuff in boxes, uh -huh. so I'm looking for things that I can bring to a silent auction. Right. So where would you go if you wanted to bring something to an arts and culture event, something to a, an opera event? I don't know. Where would you go? You go to Honest Ed's. This is nice. This is a Toronto landmark. It certainly is the largest self-serve. A department store in the world, and you know, a place for great bargains. You know, uh, Ed Mervish, a Toronto icon, a Canadian icon, and a guy who certainly supported the arts. So him and his son have run theaters and everything. Absolutely. I thought maybe I could find some stuff in there. I found okay. some. Here's a framed uh, picture of Toronto for 99 cents, including the frame. There are people in Alberta right now that said that's twice as much money as it's worth. Uh, yeah, well, I know. I thought maybe our city was worth it. Anyway, <laughs> so now Toronto, of course, being a very multicultural, multiracial place, and that kind of yeah. diversity, you see that when you get into to Honest Ed's because you've got, hey, you've got products of Holland, you've got Switzerland famous for chocolates, uh -huh. China artistry of the past, okay. and Japan precision and functional. Now, <laughs> now... I love honest ads, but uh, you know, don't get me wrong. I just think maybe there's some cultural stereotyping going on here, just a little bit. Precision and functional. Precision Japan. and functional. And if there is that kind of stereotyping going on, it, it doesn't bode well for the Germans because here we've got pickles and meats. And uh, the thing I didn't know about the Portuguese, yeah. famous for sardines. Really? Portugal famous for sardines. I live in a Portuguese neighborhood, and I don't ever see sardines. Well, famous for sardines. We've got Denmark, the land of the cheeses, of course. Well, at least they didn't say the land of the cartoons, <laughs> which doesn't go well for them. Belgium, chocolates, and I think it was glass, but somebody rubbed it out, so it's chocolates and glass. Taiwan, the price is always right, and... <laughs> but the working... But my the personal working. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> no, my personal favorite. These are real sign. My Spain lace and food products. I'm not. I have no idea what that means. Go back to the Taiwan one yeah. for a second. Why did you all grow like you knew what that meant? <laughs> that, wh where are they going? Yeah, I mean, they... it's, you know, it's funny because I guess this is here we are, this multicultural country. But this is these are the way we think of these yeah. lace and food products. I'm not sure. I found some other stuff. Here's a pope, a sort of religious theme you got going on with a red light bulb between his legs. Is I'm not Dom, sure. Is that Dom DeLuise playing the pope? <laughs> that doesn't look like I, the pope. Exploding genitalia on the Pope. I'm not sure. <laughs> Nothing better than two Popes with right. that. And here's a 1983 used edition of the Culture Club Color by Numbers uh, <laughs> record. A great disc. So I go to the I go to the Four Seasons Center. You got one minute, by the I, way. Well, I okay. I go to the Four Seasons yeah. Center. There's the silent auction. Yeah. It seemed like a natural to me. There's things for packages for fifteen hundred dollars, right. spas, things like that. I put the Culture Club album up Amazing. for sale. Uh, the writing, the, 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 what it actually said was a used, authentic used copy of the Culture Club's Color by Numbers featuring Karma Chameleon, Church of the Poison Mine, bracket, disc not included, because I wanted to keep the vinyl. So You gave them the jacket. It, it, was, the, it was the jacket, but people actually bid on it, and George, yep. at the end of the night, yep. $40 for 40 the Culture bucks. Club album, and that goes to show you 
that you can take something that would be an inanimate object that would be worth nothing at a garage sale, potentially, and take it to a swanky event, a nice write-up, and you'll get $40 for it. No, actually, Gian, what I think it proves is somebody had 40 bucks burning a hole in their pocket. That, and by the way, uh, I hope you enjoyed your, uh, what will apparently be your first and only time <laughs> being invited to something like that one. It proves that people are still <laughs> into the culture club. That's what Nice to see you. Thanks, can sir. I, before we go, I just want to, can this is, this, can, can you show what, look at, stand up for a second. No, I know, I didn't think you'd be wearing a black shirt today. This is the stupidest thing we've ever done. I, I really didn't, I, I thought because you wore black in the last couple of days that you wouldn't wear a black shirt. Yeah, what are the and chances of that happening? I, I, I wear black shirts too. We close up the program next.